Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I have filmed when it's pitch black outside and you know what's really embarrassing? The lights are on and the windows are open and everyone's looking at me, you know, so uh, Hello, you alright? <laughs> you alright? Anyway, that doesn't matter. So a few days ago I put up a story asking you guys if you have any questions and I was really pleasantly surprised, like I thought no, there's, there's no way, but you guys did actually send me in a few questions, so in today's video I'd like to run through them and answer them. So, uh, you know what, let me just play the clip, let me just play the clip. I'm thinking of doing a Q&A on my channel, so um, I just wondered if you have any questions regarding ways of dealing the channel, or me, or anything like that. So, if you do, I'd really appreciate it if you could maybe send me a message or reply to this story, that'd be great. So with that being said guys, let's get straight into it. So, question number one comes from Shane, thank you Shane. Uh, he says, what made you get into vlogging? Uh, a particular reason or just as a hobby? I wouldn't say there was a particular reason, I would say that perhaps it was more of a, like a collection of factors. So, I've always felt that I've had like weird or like wacky or crazy, sometimes bad ideas uh, in my head and I thought to myself like what if I actually take those ideas instead of just forgetting them, what if I take those ideas and put them into something that you know I can make and it's almost like a, like a creative challenge so I thought to myself, yeah, like, why not try YouTube? Why not try making videos and try something new? Since I've started, I would say it's become one of my favorite hobbies, yeah. Um, and, you know, it's provided me with the opportunity to kind of make make videos, yes, but essentially it's almost like making memories, you know, like looking back on um, myself maybe in five years time or 10 years time, I can look back and say, wow, okay, that was what my life was like now. Like, that was what my life was like now. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So similar question from Sharmista. From where did you get the inspiration to make YouTube videos? Uh, again, I don't think it was a specific place. I think it's just something that perhaps I maybe subconsciously thought about for a while and then one day, the day before Barcelona, I just pulled out my phone and I thought, okay, why not, let's give it a go. If I don't like it, then I don't have to post it, but if I like it, I can continue doing it. Question number two comes from Ilya, there's Mr. KFB. He asks, why RSU, Riga Stranich University? Uh, kind of the short answer is that I didn't get into medicine back home um, and you guys know that applying second time in the UK is just like, it's a mammoth challenge, like it's really unlikely it's gonna happen. So RSU to be honest was you to be honest with you. RSU to be honest with you was the only university I did apply to uh, abroad. And so I was accepted then and there, I guess it didn't take that long and it just happened. Right, we've got another question from Ilya. He says, Would you become the next medlife crisis if you know who I mean? I don't know who medlife crisis is. Let me give it a Google. Rohan Francis is a British vlogger, cardiologist, writer, comedian, and YouTube creator. Also known as Medlife Crisis, he's working toward a PhD on managing acute myocardial infarction. Does he have a YouTube channel? Yeah, he does. Right, I'm gonna have to do some more research on this, but yeah, for the time being, I'm gonna subscribe to him. Uh, subscribe to him, I don't know if you can see that. Did I click it? Yeah, there we go. Subscribe to him, I'm gonna check out some videos and I'll get back to you on that one. Okay, so next question. Jason Mraz asks, everyone's favorite Jason Mraz, would you rather give up your YouTube channel or your selection of hats? <laughs> I do love my selection of hats, like don't get me wrong, I have a lot. In fact, let me try and uh, bring some over. Now, unfortunately, I only have a, a few here with me, like most of my hats are back home, back home meaning England. Uh, but yeah, got the standard Adidas cap, wear it for everything. Uh, got the other three stripes Adidas cap. Got this one, uh, it's all right. Uh, got this one, like the difference between this and this, like I wear this when I get sweaty. Um, <laughs> I wear this when I do like sport and stuff. I wear this when I like don't plan on getting sweaty, if you know what I mean. I know like this is going to be a little bit controversial, but I'm going to say the selection of hats. So next question. This question comes in from Yoel. Thank you, Yoel. So Yoel says, what's a country you would want to travel to? The country that I would like to travel to is South Africa. Specifically, I'd like to go to Durban, Pretoria and Johannesburg. Oh, just let's list every South African city. Well, pretty much, yeah. Um, in terms of like 
a short term plan, like I don't think that's viable. So I think where I'd like to go to next year, um, COVID permitting would be Austria, Hungary and the Czech Republic. We've actually got a part two from Joel. So he says, uh, and who do you follow on social media, like a public person or just anyone? So. Yeah, obviously I can follow my mates and stuff like that. Like uh, it's good to keep connected, especially uh, these days. In terms of a public person, I don't think I uh, follow that many people, but if YouTube counts as social media, I do spend a lot of my time watching YouTube. I watch like, I've got like a selection of favorite YouTubers from all, every, ranging from like KSI to, to Coach Greg and everyone in between there. So yeah, I suppose uh, if that counts as following famous people, then, then yeah, I think I do. Hey bro, I'm Sahil, Sahil. I'm sorry if I didn't get that right. I saw your videos on YouTube. You are awesome. Oh my God, thanks Sahil. I appreciate that so much. No, I am not awesome. You are awesome. Thank you for watching. And I hope you don't mind me talking about this now. So yeah, cheers for that. So next question. Fave three songs this year. I would appreciate it if you could leave my name out. That's no problem. Favorite three thong, thin, 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 thong? Favorite three songs this year. In no particular order, actually no, in particular order. Number three, let's go with Lighter by KSI and Nathan Dahl. Absolute banger, like a tune, like I can relate to it. I think a lot of us can. Number two, I would say is Head and Heart by Joel Corey. Just like a summer banger, like good vibes, you know, summer memories, like all that kind of good stuff. And number one, although it's not my favorite song now, it probably was for the first nine months. It's like Lose Control by Medusa. I used to bang that song like 24 seven. So probably those three. I think this is going to be the final question. It comes from Ingrid. And she asks, if you could eat a meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I think I've answered this question ages ago and I said carbonara, like, what's wrong with you doing? Like, you can't eat that every day. I would say, and I don't know if this is a cheat kind of answer, but I just say my mum's cooking because it just, it just is the best for me. Like, it just is like really tasty. Oh, you did say meal. Oh, okay, that is kind of cheating. Meal, okay, I would go with rice, okay, with, some sort of a side dish or side dishes. I'd pick like three side dishes, so I'd have like meat, fish, and then I'd have vegetables, and then I'd have like potatoes. Uh, I mean like curry or stew or something like that. And then I'd be able to like, you know, I, well, hopefully I wouldn't get bored of that. So yeah, perhaps something like that. And it might change in the future, I've got no idea. <laughs> I think that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for the questions again. Like I really did not expect it. I was pleasantly surprised. So thank you so much, it really does mean a lot to me. And I hope I answered them to uh, a satisfactory level um, of yours. <laughs> If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and subscribe if you are new and you would like to see more and I will see you next time. Take care, peace, bye.